Hello, welcome to Trees Craft Some More. My name is Teresa, and since we started off the Christmas season, I'm going to be making some cornstarch ornaments. So, I have a large saucepan here, and in that, I'm going to add half a cup of cornstarch. You can double this recipe. This is going to make about 10 ornaments, and um, if you double it, you'll get about 20 ornaments, maybe a little less. It depends on the size of ornaments that you make. And I have here one cup of baking soda. So that was half a cup of cornstarch and one cup of baking soda. And we're going to just mix this together. And we'll mix it right in the saucepan. I'm using a uh, rubber spatula so it doesn't scratch the Teflon in my pan. This is a really easy ornament to make. Now I've preheated my oven to 250 degrees and I have a um, baking sheet with parchment paper on it. Okay, so I think I've got that good mixed. So now we're gonna add 3 fourths cup of water. And mix that in. And that's all the ingredients, it's really simple. I have some cornstarch sitting over here to the side. Um, this is gonna be for my counter and my hands. Oh, just got that all over me. So we're going to mix this up. And then we're going to cook it on the stove. Hope everybody had a nice Thanksgiving. All right, so we're gonna turn the stove on to medium heat and we're gonna cook it on the stove um, with the lid on it. And we're gonna do this um, stirring occasionally, just once in a while. Um, we're gonna do it to, it has a texture of kind of dry mashed potatoes is the best way to describe it. So we'll go ahead and we'll cook this up and stir it. As the thicker it gets, the more you want to stir it because you don't want to burn it to the bottom. As you can see, it looks like mashed potatoes now. And it will start sticking to the bottom of your pan at this point. But you don't want it to burn. And I think that that looks like A good texture right there. All right, so I'm going to take a little of the cornstarch and dust my area, and then I'm going to plop this on the counter. <laughs>
Right, and then the sink. gather it a little bit more and it's gonna be hot now we're gonna take a damp cloth and we're gonna cover it and um, yeah it's damp enough um, we're going to let it cool till it's cool enough to handle. All right, so I'm going to dust my hands a little bit with the cornstarch. And my counter is dusted. And I'm going to knead this until it's smooth and pliable. And then we're gonna roll it out to one fourth of an inch and um, use Christmas cookie cutters to cut out any shape you want. All together it took about five minutes at the most to cook it. I let it cool about four minutes. There we go. You can see. Okay, so Put some more powder down. Put some on my rolling pin. Just dust this lightly. And we're going to roll it out about one fourth of an inch. And I'm sorry about that. <laughs> Damn my camera. It really has a neat feel to it. It's real smooth. And it's definitely a different texture than like salt dough that you would make. So I'm going to do some stars. I haven't started decorating. I was going to start that today and um, I wanted to decorate with some of these. Um, I'm not hanging mine on the tree. I'm going to place this on a cookie sheet with parchment paper. I'm uh, hanging mine in my dining room. along with some other stuff. So I'm not gonna show you when they're done. I'm not gonna show you and the location that they're at when I'm putting them because I haven't done any decorating yet. So I will show you the, the finished product though, of course. So I'm just doing, uh, I'm doing a couple stars and um, bells. I, I have like a design like that. I was gonna do a couple of those.
through a couple trees. out of the cookie cutter really easy too. And I uh, plan on doing a um, home tour where my house is all decorated. But before that I'll be doing some other decorations. I think I'm going to be doing a, a cinnamon flour dough so it have a, a brown color texture to it more like a gingerbread look and I think that's about all that I want I'm trying to think here maybe one more star And I actually have some leftover dough, so I'll just put that in a container. I got a Tupperware container. But, yeah, see, so I got, I just did, um, let's see, three, six, nine, ten. I just did ten ornaments. Um, and that's all that I wanted. Like I said, I'm not doing them for my tree, but I still have... A good amount of dough left to re-roll but I'm gonna put this aside so yeah that was 10 I, I, I think you can at least get two more three more out of this and this was half the recipe that I made so if you double it you'll get a lot more so I'm going to take a straw now and I'm going to um, put a hole in them This is going to be to hang them up. Getting the dough out of the straw is another thing. Because <laughs> I'm using a paper straw. I had some plastic ones, but they were a little small, so I didn't know if it was going to be a big enough hole for them. But I think I'm going to have to get it because maybe I'll just keep pushing it up the straw, huh? Okay. Yeah, I guess it will. So, oh, there we go. And then you can hang them up with like a string or, um, I think that you could even get a wire hook in them if you, uh, bend the wire. And you can decorate them any way you want, paint them. That one there, I feel like I uh, broke it almost open. Oops. Let's see if I can repair it. Well, we'll see how that one does. I actually, you know, was making sure I had a couple extra. But yeah, when I'm done, I will show you how I'm gonna decorate them. And you could just use a basic acrylic paint on them. So now I'm going to go ahead and bake them. I'm going to bake them for 20 to 30 minutes. Um, and again, the oven was preheated to 250 um, or until they're hard. All right, we're going to let those cool completely before we decorate them and we will um, before decorating each one and use them picking up a hot one um, you want to dust off any of the cornstarch on the top so your ornaments not powdery and putting uh, paint or decorations on them so we're gonna go ahead and let that cool all right, I'm gonna go ahead and paint them. They've cooled off. I'm using a green, red, and a gold. It's a soft gold. Uh, the one I'm using is by Rust-Oleum. It's uh, metallic accents, and you can use any paint you want. Um, 
I got out uh, white paint, but I'm not sure if I'm using it. And these are actually glass paints that I'm using, the red and the green, not the gold. Um, and this white paint is a acrylic, only because my red and green paint that I had in the acrylic was um, too gooey and dried up, so I didn't want to use it. And I think this will work just fine on it anyway, but I would use just acrylics. So I'm going to do a simple design on mine. Let's see if I can get this in the camera. So, and you can paint any way you want. You can do stripes, um, solid colors, and you could have your uh, kids do this or your grandkids. That would be fun for them to paint ornaments. My cats are in the background playing, <laughs> wondering what that clobbering noise was. But I think one's getting a little bit irritated. Okay, so this is what I have so far. So that's how I'm going to paint that one. 
And I'm, I'm pretty much going to do all of them, kind of a simple little design like that on them. And then when it dries, I am going to uh, add a coat to seal it and possibly some glitter. So let me just go ahead and finish painting the designs. All right, so I've got them all painted. And I have some um, Mod Podge. And a paintbrush, and I'm gonna go over the ornament. Oh, and it's dried, of course. <laughs> I'll let it dry about uh, 20 minutes. I'm just gonna go over it with a layer, nice and smooth, same direction. I'm going to take my tray I was using with the paint and um, let me move this out of the way. I decided to go ahead and use two pieces of paper instead of the tray. Um, that way I can save the glitter that I don't use and I folded it in half like this. I have um, green glitter and I have red glitter. Okay, so I'm just gonna go over this lightly. I don't wanna flood it. Or if I sprinkle it on with the container, it might flood over it. And lightly to green. And I know it's kind of a pain to sit here and switch papers back and forth, but this way I can save the glitter that I don't use and put it back in the bottle. Otherwise it would be mixed up and I wouldn't want to put it back. So and I'm going to lightly go over it with some red glitter. I don't know if you can see that. Okay, and I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna do that to every one of them. When the front side dried, I went ahead and did a Mod Podge on the back and put a little bit bigger of glitter, red and green on the back, and just kept it more simple than the front. So there you have the ornaments. And let me show you. Here's one of the ornaments hanging up. I put white yarn through this one. Um, you could do twine or some thread or maybe some gold or silver uh, cord and a toothpick helps to push the yarn through the hole. I hope you like my ornaments and I hope you make them. Make them with some kids or grandkids and have fun doing it and thank you for watching. Please subscribe and give it a thumbs up.